or Christmas or around about Christmas and go on a nice sunny holiday now. Exactly. Leave but us here working us hard. Struggling ones still have No, to you are January. there at the top, mate. You <laughs> ladies haven't, didn't you? <laughs> viewers vote later so you can see how all your favourite bands do. Um, now lads, do you remember each other's birthdays? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, do you remember your own? Uh, I remember mine. When are they then? Uh, mine's in May. May. See, only, uh, and yours is in June? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Do, you follow, do you follow your yeah. star signs and stuff? Are you quite... A, a I used to read it in the paper yeah. every morning. I, I didn't really ever believe in it, but I used to read it anyway. Well, you know, we've got a bit of a surprise for you. Please, everybody, welcome Astrologer to the Stars, Jonathan Kainer. Oh. Hello, Jonathan. Hello, Jonathan. Come and sit here. Look at them. What? <laughs> <laughs> bit of a surprise for you lads. Now, here's Jonathan. Jonathan's been doing a bit of chart reading for you lads and he's going to give us a little prediction for your year ahead. So, Jonathan, far away. Well, actually, I just figured that I'd take a little look into the future because I know you're all rather fond of the future one way or another. Yeah. And, year 3000? Uh, yeah, I didn't get as far as the year 3000. <laughs> um, but I got as far as the next couple of years and it's very interesting, actually, what's due to happen to you as yeah? a band. Yeah, I think so. I think, uh, I think you're going to be rather big, actually. Um, and I've been having a little look, and... Um, now, who should we start with? Let's start with Matty. OK, all right. Well, now, Matt, you're a Taurian, and you yeah. probably know that Taurians are supposed to be very sensible and down-to-earth and practical and... Completely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, well, and it's interesting, because I had a look at your full horoscope, because I got given all your details exactly when you were born. It turns out you're a complete fantasist, and that you live in cloud cuckoo land. <laughs> <laughs> What can I say? It, Best land for you. How about I, I, Charlie? Well, I, just, I was just going to say, before I got there, I had a little look at where your Venus is, because I was thinking I might, you might want a little insight into your love life. And what oh, I right. discovered was that uh, you were born with Venus in Gemini, which means that you do very well with girls who are born under the mutable sign. So if there's any Geminis or any Virgos or Sagittarians... All the ladies are looking excited. <laughs> Charlie, quickly as well. How about Charlie's sign? Charlie, you're a Gemini, right? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, you are rather typical of your sign, I think. A bit of a smart ass, and I suggest <laughs> maybe a bit of an argumentative sort of character. Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. You're not going to agree. <laughs> <laughs> and how about James? Okay. Um, and uh, now, uh, am I right in thinking you're a Virgo? Yeah. Yes. Okay. With a um, a strong penchant towards. I mean, see, that's funny because Virgos are supposed to be very well organised, but I don't think you are. You see, I don't. I don't think that's actually true. But what I think that you may well be actually is a bit of a maniac, actually, a bit of a wild character on the side. This is it's coming up from your horoscope. A wild child. <laughs> and uh, is it true that you that you like rather sort of stroppy women who to put you in your place and tell you what's what? Uh... Yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda, yeah. Jonathan, thank you so much for coming in today. Busted, what a lovely surprise for thank you. Thank you, mate. Now, we've got two stars who never forget each other's birthdays. It's